the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So we're going to talk about a utility project that me personally am um, particularly bullish on and that is vrd or viridis network the ticket is vrd and um i was going to leave this video until tomorrow to make but um at the moment it is breaking out and i want to i want people to be able to get into this a very you know a good price just after the breakout at least um so yeah i, I was going to wait until tomorrow to make this video but by then this could have gone absolutely nuts and then you know, people say in the comments, you know, why didn't you give it to us earlier or sooner? So here it is, all right, guys. Viridis Network is breaking out, and that's after like a month worth of accumulation. It's actually launched in early November, okay, guys. And then, um, you know, it didn't do nothing for a while before it went absolutely crazy. There was a huge, you know, liquidity injection that brought the price up, and ever since then, it's been ranging uh, between the uh you know 0 0.005 and uh, 0 0.01.2 cents okay guys but um yeah just today we got a breakout on this particular project and um you know i believe that this is going to go absolutely crazy it's going to do really well it's very low cap sitting at 13.5 million dollar market cap and the volume is very low which is why i think it's a great time to get in while the volume is low when the volume increases, you will already be in and, um, you know, there's potential for upside in this project. Now, the pump, I believe, uh, the hype right now or this price action comes off the back of the fact that their test net is going live in January on the 2nd of January. OK, guys, and they put out this announcement um, yesterday saying that the test net um, was it yesterday? Um, no, yeah, uh, the day before yesterday, sorry, yesterday, right, We it's past midnight for me, okay, but um, they said we are thrilled to announce the Viridis EVM testnet will be going live on the 2nd of January 2024, okay, stay tuned to hear of participation uh, incentives um, and so on, all right, guys, uh, so this is very bullish for the project, now, if you're wondering what this project is, all right, it is basically a sustainable energy blockchain, green energy, renewable energy, all that sort of stuff, right? And they're basically, um, you know, it's, it's to offset carbon credits, okay, guys? Um, they're not the only project doing this. Um, there is another project I talked about uh, a couple of years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, called Kyoto, another token that I'm invested in. Uh, but they haven't gone live with the V2 of their actual live launch. They partnered with Near Protocol. Which is, which is why I was bullish on that particular project at the time. Um, so I did invest in that one early. Um, they had a, like a Genesis launch and, you know, um, they since, you know, halted that launch uh, to make way for their actual utility launch. Um, and that is supposed to be launching soon. They've got a testnet as well, but they haven't launched the second version of the token. So at the moment, there is no other competitor to Viridis. Uh, Kyoto, I believe, will be a competitor. Okay, guys, but Viridis Network is basically the, the you know, I I'm not sure if there's other projects out there doing this. Okay, guys, but in comparison to the two, Viridis Network has a token and they're doing it in a way that I would prefer actually because they've launched a token. Now they've come out with a test net and then obviously later on there'll be a main net and maybe there'll be, you know, development grants and things like that. So, we get an opportunity to get into this, you know, super early before everybody's talking about it. And um, yeah, I really like the projects. I like what the team's been doing. Um, I don't believe the team is fully doxed. Okay, they're not fully doxed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. The website at the moment is uh, uh, down for maintenance. All right, guys. So I can't show you the website at the moment. It's down for maintenance, but it is a very nice clean website you know if you really need that maybe we'll cover that in another video but um ultimately they are preparing for testnet okay so they're doing some development on the website and so on so um you know we'll be able to look at it a little bit uh, a little bit more on another date okay guys but um yeah so they basically uh, uh you know just before christmas um they posted this as well a crucial milestone in our journey, we've acquired and retired our first carbon offset. 
So basically, they're doing what it says. It's doing what it says on the tin. Okay, they want to offset ca uh, carbon credits or emissions or whatever. Okay, I'm not too clued up on this sort of stuff. Okay, but um, basically, this is what's going on. They're based out of. They they're not um, an African team, but they're based out of Nigeria. Okay, because a lot of, there's a lot of this sort of work going on out there. Okay, guys, um, but I believe it's um, an, a European team. Um, I believe I could be mistaken. Okay, um, but yeah, I really like the project. Um, I like what they're doing with it. Um, one of the main reasons why I first invested in this project when I first came across it, okay, was for the simple fact that it was just shrouded in mystery. They weren't, you know, they they, they weren't telling us much. There wasn't, um, you know, I just, we I just saw this pump. Okay, I saw this pump, and the team were dropping little, you know, little, you know, if we go back on their Twitter, right, they were just dropping little things, they're doing AMAs and things like that as well, but um, they were just dropping little things, we didn't really know much about the project, um, so this is the first tweet that they put out, okay, it launched on the 2nd of November, and this was put out on the 22nd of November, okay, um, so you can see that on the chart here, it launched on the 1st or the 2nd of November. And on the 22nd of November, that's when we had this pump. Okay, guys. Now, that's when the first tweet came out. And I was actually, uh, you know, I was actually uh, around around this time um, looking at the project. And people were just getting hyped because it did something, right? And there was a tweet. This was So this was the very first tweet that was put out. So it was shrouded in mystery. And then they put out this one the following day, an, int an, an introduction to Viridis, and they put the white paper out. Okay, guys, so this is one of those ones that, you know, it, it keeps people guessing or kept people guessing. And, you know, it had a really nice um, launch. They partnered with Pound Mind, okay, another bullish project on Ethereum. And, you know, they've basically just got things going on. Okay, guys, this is a team that's uh, doing more than what they're saying. Okay, they're acting and uh, acting first and um yeah i see this potentially um being a huge gainer okay guys now there's a bunch of people talking about it on twitter okay that believe that this is the next 100x uh, or one of the next 100x's out of the thousand hundred x's uh, that we expect to see in the ball run right but um, you know some people that i actually follow in the space that i really respect as well um actually uh, talking about it and um you know they're just as bullish as i am people are drawing their charts everyone's speculating on this particular project you've got huge whales uh, pumping 11k and you know uh, i think one guy bought 17k in total just today so we're seeing this huge breakout right and um, at this point in time you know it doesn't look like it's stopping anytime soon especially after this long accumulation this is basically just a wave one um, and then a consolidation and um, it looks like it could be going for a nice big wave free potentially okay guys now in terms of price targets um, you know I could draw a Fibonacci um, and if I go from the beginning here from the previous high to the previous low right it's just approaching those 618 uh, level okay guys and um, you know there's potential for it to continue past that all the way up to the three cents mark so a short-term target could be three cents if you were thinking of a short-term target on this particular project so if you're thinking like yo i missed a breakout i missed this pump you know i still believe that it's got a bunch of upside you know over the coming days all right guys and uh, ultimately I, do, I believe that this is a great long-term hold for the bull run because again it's shrouded in mystery um it's got a usp um it's in a you know it's a narrative play okay guys so if you're bullish on a sort of carbon credits you know a green energy you know all that climate change stuff narrative right um what is it you've got the the, the whole uh what's it called you, you've got that thing i don't know like algorand like all those sorts of you know, I can't remember what it's called, okay, guys, but there's a certain, you know, um, uh, ecosystem or narrative that could potentially be bullish during this bull market. And um, th I believe that this one fits into that. Um, they've got 3.3 thousand holders, and that's huge considering not a lot of people are talking about. I don't think anybody's covering it on YouTube. Uh, there's a few 
under the radar people tweeting it, uh, tweeting it on Twitter, and a few bigger players as well. Okay, guys. But ultimately, this is one I believe that you can buy it and you can sleep comfortably holding a token like this because it's a utility play, right? It's not just gonna pump all the way up and then dump all the way down like we see with a lot of these meme coins. This is one that you can actually sleep on. Um, again, like you can see, people have been holding this, accumulating it for like a month. And it's basically held its range and now it's going for that next leg up. So in this season in the bull market, this is extremely low cap guys at 13 million market cap. And there's huge potential for this to go into the hundreds of millions and even the billions. Okay, guys, because this is a layer one or layer two. Um, is this a layer two or layer one? I can't actually remember. Um, but yeah, it's basically, um, yeah, is it a layer two or a layer one? Uh, I'll say it's a layer one, okay? I'll say it's a layer one. Let's just say it's a layer one, okay? And, you know, you may be able to go around and play around on the test net. Um, you know, it's not something that I'm doing, okay, guys? But for those of you that are interested, go and play around on the, te uh, the test net and see how it operates, okay, guys? Will they be able to onboard developers and users onto their platform? Obviously, that is yet to be seen, but we've seen um many similar projects i uh, do extremely well okay and you know if this starts getting onto the larger channels influencers on youtube and things like that it's literally this can just go crazy within no time okay and in terms of exchange listings i do remember it did list on an exchange i can't remember which one it was but let's just go to coin market cap for the sake of the video Okay, guys. So yeah, it listed on MEXC exchange. So if this was to get onto your Q coins, Binance, of course, you know, down the road, we are super early on this particular project. Okay, guys. So you know, I think there's potential for it. I like the narrative. I like the. Uh, I like the, uh, the 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 mystery of the token, and so on. Okay. Um, I do believe that um, there was something tweeted. Um, the team going to conferences and things like that. So if you're worried about them not being doxxed, okay, okay, they are out and about and they're doing things right. Going to COP28 and things like that. United Arab uh, Arab Emirates, however you pronounce, United Arab Emirates, okay. And um, yeah, the team have been attending uh, different conferences and things like that. So. You know, it could be a bullish one, guys. It could be a bullish one to add to your portfolio, not financial advice, um, risk capital only. But um, yeah, that's Viridis Network. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. That's really all I've got for you in this video. Again, I want to give you this. Uh, I wanted to bring this to you before it actually pumped like crazy. You know, it may pull back from here. Okay, guys, but just on the chance that it might just, just keep going without stopping, right? I'm giving you the best entry that I can particularly give you at the moment, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm not saying to buy it when it was not financial advice again, but um, yeah, I think this is very bullish, okay, guys? So let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Go and jump in the social medias, Twitter, Telegram, all that sort of stuff. It's got a community being built and uh, everybody there is bullish and yeah. I'll see you guys in the very next video.